students uh, we were discussing about the capital budgeting techniques so the next technique that we have the second one we can say it as the second technique so it is the arr or simply we can call it as account rate of return so accounting rate of return or arr so this is the second technique in which we decide that either we have to accept the project or reject the project a simple valuation we are taking that there is a project with an initial investment of how much? 50,000 with a life of the four year, and these are the inflows like a 20, 25, 28, and 30,000 in the next four years. So, first we have to calculate what? We have to calculate the average return, and then we have to divide it with the initial investment. Now, what is the average return? Average return is basically we will get the return of the investment, like inflow. We have a year one, two, three, four inflows are there. Then we have to list the depreciation. Depreciation means the project has a 50,000 cost and let's say it's uh, solvage value or scrap value is 10,000. So what we will calculate? So from every value, we will minus the depreciation to get the return. Means 20,000 we are getting, but there's a cost, there's an expense. Of how much the initial investment cost or the depreciation is there so and then we will get the total of these and then divide with the life of the asset or the to take the total or take the average now the depreciation what will be the depreciation let's say that we have a cost of 50,000 and solvage value we assume let's say is 10,000 divided by Four, so it is forty thousand divided by four. So the depreciation is ten thousand per year. So we have calculated the depreciation. The first step that we have to calculate is the depreciation. So depreciation, how it is calculated? Cost of the asset minus the solvent value divided by life. Cost is given here. The initial investment of the project fifty thousand. Solvent value. It is assumed like a 10,000 divided by 4, so 40,000 divided by 4, so 10,000 per year is the depreciation. So now we have to minus from every year 10,000, like a 20,000 is there. What we will do? We will minus this 10,000 here, minus here 10,000, minus 10,000, and minus 10,000. Why? The inflow, the project inflows are there, four year inflows are there less the depreciation same depreciation 10,000 so what we will do we will total it and then we will divide by the life to get the average so here it will be how much so simply it will be 10,000 it will be 15,000 18,000 and then we have our 20,000 done for the next four year we have the values like this 10,000, 15,000, 18, and 20,000. How it is calculated? The inflows 20, 25, 28, 30 minus depreciation 10,000. So from every year we have to minus, so we have to take 10,000 to get these returns. So now the total of this is how much it is? 63,000. So this is the total of inflows less the depreciation 63,000. Then we have to divide it. By what? By the life of the asset. So the life of the asset is how much? 63,000 divided by 4. So 63,000 divided by 4. So it will be like a 15,750. So this is what? This is the average return. So we found the average return. Now the average return should be divided by the initial investment. So 15,750 divided by the initial investment is 50,000 and obviously we will do what? We will multiply it with the 100. So it will be approximately like a 32 percent so 32 percent is what 32 percent is the accounting rate of return so where we have calculated the average returns 
and they did divide it by the initial investment. So initial investment was the fifty thousand. The project outflow we can say or we can say the total investment of the project was the fifty thousand. So and the average return was sixty three thousand divided by four. So it was almost like a fifteen thousand seven hundred and fifty. So fifteen seven fifty divided by fifty thousand. So almost like a thirty two percent approximately. We have the total return of the asset. So average return or what we say the accounting return is 32 percent. Let's say this is the project we say like a project A is there and the project B for example has a return of 21 percent. So what we will do we will decide that which is better obviously 32 percent is better so we will accept that project. Let's say it is not 30 21 percent it is let's say 33 percent project b so in this case what we will do we will select the project b so this is the method how we are calculating the accounting rate of return and how this is done while using the inflows and the depreciation uh, in some of the calculations or in some of the authors uh, books they are using what they are not using simply the initial investment they are using the average investment means at the start investment was how much 50000 and at the end obviously the solvage value is left only 10000 so we are taking the average of this thing and then we are deciding so but most of the time it is like average return divided by the initial investment and we are getting like a 32% and then we have to compare it with other projects like some project is giving like a c is giving 22% a is giving 32% uh, B is giving 33%. So, which is the best one? Obviously, which is giving the maximum return. So, that is 33%. So, it will be accepted according to the accounting rate of return. Project B with the return of 33% is the best option. I hope you have understood the concept. The steps are there. And if you have still any confusion and doubt, you can ask me in the comments section. Thank you very much.